Here at Berkeley Lab, we are helping to construct a major new facility for rare isotope beam research. What is a rare isotope? It can mean many things, but in this context, it's an isotope with a short half-life, maybe just a few seconds. There's lots of interesting science to do with these isotopes, but they're very difficult to access. You won't find them in the world around you. You have to make them artificially. Large accelerators can do this job. We now have developed techniques over the years for doing it, and there are lots, there are lots of interesting things that we can learn. Perhaps one of the most interesting things is, is to learn about the origin of the material around us. After the Big Bang, the universe was composed just of hydrogen and helium. Clearly today it's very different. We have planets with all kinds of elements in them. Well, they were produced in, in stars, in nuclear reactions, and sometimes in quite explosive events, like supernova explosions. The time constant for these, these events is quite short. And in fact, rare isotopes, isotopes with half-lives, or over a few, just a few seconds are crucial in, under, in these processes. Here at Berkeley Lab, we're involved in this new facility in a couple of ways. One of the key things is in the development of the iron source. This is the key component of the accelerator. The intensity of the beams out of the source determine the ultimate beam power and the number of these rare isotopes we can produce. It's a plasma iron source. Uh, it uses electron cycle to resonance heating to create a very energetic gas, which is called a plasma and we use uh, microwaves, 28 gigahertz, uh, to heat the electrons in the plasma to very high energy and to ionize the gas inside to high, um, to high charge state needed for, for the injection of effort. What is special about the Venus ECR ion source is this very high magnetic field and the high microwave fre frequency for, for heating and can create the in most intense uranium beams and that's why it was chosen as a prototype source for EFRIP and it had a, a, a tremendous impact on the, on the design of the, of the injector actually. The Venus ion source has such intense beams that in fact it's enabled both the energy and the cost of the new facility to be reduced substantially. The second area where we've been involved is right at the other end of the machine in developing instrumentation to be used for the experiments. This is a prototype detector for GRETA, the Gamma Ray Energy Tracking Array. GRETA measures both the energy and the direction, uh, both the energy of gamma rays and the direction in which they come from. It does this by means of interactions with ultra-pure germanium crystals. Each of these three cans has a germanium crystal inside it. Eventually, we're going to have a 4 pi array, a spherical array of these detectors, installed at the new facility for our isotope beams when in its final incarnation it's Greta, will be probably the leading instrument that will be used for this for the rare isotope research at the new facility.